Okay. Now when you first open Abby UTL, UTL, you'll first see this and you'll be like, how the hell do I edit with this? I mean, I'm guessing if you try to explore something, you would be like, okay, I'm just gonna pick this and I'm gonna put it there. And you're like, okay, how the fuck do I edit with this? So I've gotten that, that question a lot of times and what you really do is that the, mo the majority of the tools you use here are actually by clicking. Please ignore this. I can't even read it. I think I can read that. That's an N. No, that's not an N. Fuck. Um, so this is what you use for editing. Here we go. I'm just going to make this smaller so I can see it a lot more clearly. E. Oh shit. Um, not that small. Anyways, this here, this is a custom to another screen monitor in which it was not as short as before. Okay, here we go. So this here is what you get. This is advanced editing. This is what I, editing, this is what I use to make all my transitions and special effects and edit the colors and yada yada yada. Um, but most of the time, like, most of the time I do, I do do a lot of effects in MMD and then and then the other app, I do it here, in which I could, um, like, transitions through MMDs. For example, I'm just gonna go, actually, this is one MD, so I'm just gonna pick another one that I was doing. Please ignore the, the title. Okay. Uh, yeah, this was an Abby, but it doesn't matter. Add more. Two. Three. Yeah, that's fine. So, what I do now is that I right click on the layers here, right click new media object, I'm sorry for my accent, my first, ang my first language is not English, even though it could probably technically be, but that's another story. Um, you could put, uh, you first click me on new media object and then you click on video file. And after video file, this will pop up. Again, most of, uh, most of Avi UTL is just pop-ups, but all of these pop-ups have a meaning to do in the thing, yes. Um, after this, I'll just go back to ignore the title, and I'll click this one here. Root is what you use to like make it bigger or smaller. I usually just like, I usually, usually just like put it like over there, load all of everything that I do, and then when I'm doing my transitions and special effects, I like go really, really, really close. By the way, each one of these means a different frame. All of these are a different frame. Like one frame, two frames, frame three frames, four frames. I'm tongue tied as fuck, but I don't care. I'm drinking Coca Cola at, tw at, 10, a at 10 p.m. in the night. Hey. Anyways, right click, video file, do this again, it is a tedious thing, but it's worth it in the end. <laughs> video file, there we go, I'm just doing this short one because I just want to show you the basic basics of this program. As you can clearly see by the title, this is a like I was planning on. It was supposed to be a surprise because I want to show a lot of a, a lot of my female models that I have. But this includes both Neo Talia and regular Natalia models. And so after this, I'm going to show you how to do my transitions. On transitions below new media object, you click on screen change. I'm just going to show you transitions. There's a lot of other shit that I really don't know because I haven't um, played around with it yet. But yeah, I'll do it later. Okay, so. Let's load here and drag this all over yonder. Yes. Eh. Hi, got it is. Got it, got it, got it is. Okay, here we go. And now, these are the list of. Ty uh, different types of transitions you can do. There's probably a place where you can download different ones, but I haven't checked them out and I'm really satisfied with what I have right here. Okay, so this is elect. Usually there's going to be a lot of like jumping and a really fast paced song. song. <laughs> what the fuck is song? Um, there's usually going to be a really fast paced song, so what you really want to do is like get in the mood with the, with the MMD and otherwise you want to make it look cool and powerful. That's one of the cool things in MMD. So I'm probably gonna ju just be using real spin, shatter,
maybe a little bit of bl the blurring. I probably won't use crossfade, but I'm just gonna show you each. I'm gonna show you a few of these because there's like a shit load. You can't expect me to do all of this. Okay, so I'm gonna show you shatter. And actually, I didn't load the audio, so I'm just gonna do this really quick soon. You can also use the audio from your MMD. And I'm just gonna do this. My new select. Here we go. And now, what you can do to review your MMD without um, without playing it here, because here will lag a lot, and it's probably too big. You could do this: a preview the and, and display. Right down here, preview window visible. Exactly. In preview window, you can actually change the video size. I usually put it this, so when I'm editing, I can like see very closely. This works right really well for for when you want to put text in this. But yeah. This this is not work at all. Okay. I'm gonna play it. I'm gonna put it play, and I'm gonna mute myself. Bye. I'm sad to say that this is really laggy for it to work, but I'm just gonna go replay it again. You see, see how it like broke in. It literally just broke in like it shattered a couple of pieces and then turned into this. That is what shatter does. Does yeah, theoretically. Now I'm gonna put the um, real spin. Real spin is practically my yeah. Real spin is practically my favorite one. See, real spin does a little spin thing that I really like it at, on, on Nico Nico Duga. And after that, I'm gonna put you. Uh, where is it? Oh, the, someone was asking me for this one, so I'm just gonna put it right here. This is rare, it's just gonna like blur. It's like zooming and zoom out, it's really nice. Well, yeah, that's how you do scene change in, in Navi UT. God damn it. Stop. Anyways, I'm gonna simply just like do it again. It's right click, add filter object, change, and then you pick a scene. But remember, you need to click on the thing because you can actually be like, okay, I'm gonna put this one crossway, I'm gonna put this one real spin, but then you don't you don't realize that you didn't click this one and you click this one and it'll just mess everything up, especially in text. I hate it when I do text. Anyways, now I'm gonna get to the image. Thing. You know how usually in my videos I will probably like put a mini corner video right there. I usually put in my videos black black lines. Now normally I thought this was a feature in Abby in Abby UTL, but it's actually not. So I had to do my own black lines to make it work. But the way that I do that I did that was like load a PNG file, put the background file in complete like com complete nothing, no white, no nothing. It's just nothing. And then paint it all black, and then with a rec with a rectangular select tool, I deleted a lot of things. This is what I came up with. And how do I adjust this? Easy. I zoom it in. Eh. See how different that looks right now. Even nicer. Unfortunately, it ABTL really, really, really likes to jump a lot, so I usually go by the the little corners like this see now this is fine this looks really nice and it gives the video like a whole new feel instead of like being completely open and that's what it that's what you but that's what you like in a very serious cool looking trying to make them look awesome video okay so next is text 
text. I hate this thing, but it really works sometimes. Anyways, this is text. Normally, I don't do anything fancy with text. I probably just do, um, usually when I put with text, I probably just do this. I'll show you what emission does in a second. Okay, so I'm just gonna be like, here lies the tale of Davy. For all you fucks out there. And now, I'm gonna take off, I'm gonna like, drag this over here. Yes, you can drag things and here lies the tail of Davy. Now this is what emission does. It makes it brighter. It gives it a really nice Hollywood like theme and I really, really love emission. Right here you can change additive or subtractive. Now normally this wouldn't work. I mean like, like normally you wouldn't want this um, when doing a video but like if you want to put like, um, I don't know, make it like, oh god. That is not what I wanted to do. If you want to make it um, look a little bit transparent, all you do is like this clear on this right here. And it's actually like, I'm seeing like too much, and it's actually very similar to what you get in Sai or Photoshop. See, subtractive, multiply, all of the above. I don't like screen. I never like screen. Luminous. Etc. Et yeah, this is what you get. And now for the fun part that's pr that everyone was probably waiting about. I'm gonna show you how to make an audio wave file. Let me just like delete this. Anyways. <clears throat> that line right there, that line makes a lot of difference. Probably keeps the video more entertaining than, than your actual video does. To boost your product, if I was completely honest. <laughs> Not that it's your video, though. It's my video. Please don't be angry. I don't want to be offensive. I already have offended. I've already offended everyone. Okay, so I'm just gonna zoom it in. Like that. See? Now I will just leave it there so you can get the real jizz of what this is. I'm gonna click something else. Good. Oh god. You see how that is the way? F the, um, the usual thing you see in MMDs when people put it like in their corners for their music and put a, put a, put a, like, a title in there. Like they make themselves think they're cool but they're actually really not. Uh, yeah, that's what this, way, what this does. This comes in different types. Oh fuck, that's not what I meant to do. Okay, this comes in different types. Look at this. Type three. Type four. That. It's lagging. It's a. Uh, it's Abby. And then my favorite, type five. I'm just gonna pause this right now. That it's what is eh, blah, blah. that it what it eh, that's what it does. No puedo hablar. That is what audio wave does. You, but you have to have obviously you have to have like an audio in the background before you load this up, or it will not. It will simply not load at all. Now this is what I wanted to show you. I take this and then in this little plus sign. There's a lot of things for editing, but I have not explored all those things. I'm just showing you the basics of what I do in my normal MMD videos. This right here, po polar coordinate conver conversion. I cannot speak English for the life of me. This right here. Right click it. Oh, look, I did. Um, I should put this away. Now it's not in the preview video, but you can see clearly it became a circle. Yes, yes it did. And with the width, you can make it smaller. With the volume, you can make the the little like the, the beat thing. I don't know how to call it. I'm not a very like, professional in that thing. We can make the little beat thing a little bit smaller. I love this model. You can make the little beat thing a little bit smaller. So let's see it again in. 
reviews and I'm gonna put Russia or at least where Russia's part is yes they're there right there <coughs> excuse me and yeah, that's basically all that I know because I really don't know that much, but people, but people keep asking me. So I want to provide you at least a very decent, not really in detail because this program is actually really quite simple to use. I'm just going to go move this here. This is what I, what this is what the cool kids do, or at least what people believe to think the cool kids do. Put it right here. Yeah, that's the thing. So this is basically Abby UTL, and yeah, it's a really, pr it's a pretty fun program. Um, it's really good on its own, but it only exports in Abby, as far as I know. So I use Camtasia to put it in MP4 and then throw it on YouTube and deliver it all to you, so you can laugh at my expense. You need to sum up, please. Anyways. Thank you for watching, I really really appreciate it, all the support you guys have given me, especially in my Unravel video. I really 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 hope this helped for all of you and I want to see you, I want to see a lot of people using this program in the future and making a lot better videos. I really want to thank you all and yeah. Domo arigato. Mucha gracias.